Hey folks, it's Art Wolf. Welcome. We have an unboxing video for you today, and it is a little one. Um, it is not this game. This is the Traveler customizable card game two-player starter set. This is the core set that's out right now. What we have to unbox instead is the Aliens of the Imperium expansion, um, which is one of the two expansion products available for this and i thought it might be interesting to go through i almost did an unboxing video of the game but it would i didn't want to take the cards out of the cellophane so it would have been a, a, the world's lamest unboxing uh, this one i will actually take apart so let's settle in here for a few minutes as somebody who is kind of a big traveler nerd i was kind of interested i'm going to take the cards out of the bottom because i feel like it will be less trouble so we have here something like 60 cards 60 cards that come wrapped. So let's see. I haven't tried to play this yet. Um, the other thing that's available right now is the Beowulf Free Trader deck, which I would be all over, but there is a Beowulf Free Trader deck in the box, so I'm unclear as to whether that's the same Free, free Trader deck or not. Um, in addition to that, um, there's some there's some, both some playthrough video on YouTube, which I would encourage you to check out, and there's some unboxing stuff on YouTube for the course set, and there's some instructional stuff. Unfortunately, I feel like the instructional videos, I'm having a hard time with this, are kind of necessary, uh, because the rule book is not well put together. I can tell you that the game itself looks fine, and from what I have seen so far, it looks relatively neat, and it looks like I will like it, uh, but certainly... The rule book is not structured in an optimal way. One of the things that the rule book that the that the game does is to well, I struggle with the cellophane um, is to be be very heavy in the use of these icons, and that's fine. Um, but unfortunately, the rule book uses them too instead of the words that they're to describe. So you'll see a sentence like, "And then you must." Bah, where wah is the some icon, and you don't know what the hell it is when you're learning the game. So let's see what we got here. We got uh, some of these, uh, the, the the sort of reddish card deck, and the other is this. Now these are the like the like the missions. Um, interspecies census is the mission, and the complication is interspecies infection. So okay, so you get three of the same one. Uh, so you got some new mission-y type things. There's like a like a storyline expansion happening too, which I'm particularly interested to see. All right, so, uh, you know, as familiar as I am with Traveler, I am not going to be familiar with every one of these weird little aliens. So we have here the Voipa, sent by his Oitrip. Voipa is the person. Sent by, so this is a droin, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, here is some Jabba the Hutt-looking dude. Um, I don't know what race that comes through, and I'm not going to try to pronounce the name. The randomly generated name. Um, Liak, Tzen, and Gilar. Lemura civilization is a symbiotic cooperation between the alien Gav and the human Teg. Okay? Don't know where that is. Uh, here is an Aslan character. <coughs> Aslan have already, are always been a somewhat challenging race to portray in the art. Uh, because aside from Dave Dietrich, everybody kind of makes them look like lion men, which kind of is what they are, but they should be just visually distinct from that. Uh, but we got an Aslan guy. We got some... Uh, what did you expect? I'm not a veterinarian. Okay, so it's some bear guy. Is he supposed to be a Varger? He is supposed... Oh, cool. They actually give you the races right here. So this guy's an Aslan. This guy's a Lamora. This girl is a Lamora. The Verushi and the Droin. So this guy is a Varger. He kind of looks like a bear guy there, but okay. Uh, here is a Hiver, Gisgo. Uh, among all the Hivers, there's not another Gisgo. The Hivers are kind of neat, actually. Um, here's an Ursa, which I think are uplifted bears, I think. Uh, here's a Hikar. Hikar? Hikar, I would pronounce that. Uh, not really familiar with these guys, but he seems to be a lizard-type dude. Oh, the vegans. The, so vegans are from Vega, or the vegans, I guess, are from Vega, or the vicinity thereof. Uh, and they're one of the early races that the uh, the the, the Solomani uh, interact with uh, when they're expanding out of Sol. 
the Bwap, uh, who are like these little lizard guys. They're like natural administrators, so the Imperium loves them. Uh, here's another dro droin, and in fact, this is the same droin. Voipa. Um, and he has the same ability, too. Uh, I don't know if I, how I feel about that. Here's another one of these guys. Another one of these guys. Okay. There's the Ursa guy. Here's the, the car guy. Here's that guy. Here's the Bwap. Okay, so it does kind of look like what we have. Now, now we get into different stuff here. So we do have duplicates. There's like four of each of these uh, individuals. Uh, but then we have these uh, exploration mercantile cards here. So you get the Alien Quarter Market, the Sofont Workers Union. Another one of those, another one of those, another one of those, another one of those. Okay, here's uh, a Darien character. Okay. Not sure I, I ever understood the Darians as being into facial tattoos, but whatever. Uh, the Darians are a, a like an offshoot human race. They're actually a, a, a human race that was uh, planted there on its homeworld uh, by the ancients. Um, and they evolved along somewhat different lines. They're kind of space elves or and kind of Vulcans, um, with, uh, between which there's a significant overlap anyway. Um, okay, Jeeves, the berry... This guy is, I don't know what the hell those are. Here's our uh, Darien guy again, and here's Jeeves again. Here's another one of these. Alien persecution, unsavory. Inhuman persistence. Okay. So I was kind of afraid we would get the same 10 cards uh, the whole time. Um, Honor Blades, Aslan Honor Blade, okay. There's another one of those. So we do have some duplicates of all this stuff. So I don't know if I would say this. This definitely will bring out some interesting stuff in the game. I think, um, without being a you know enormous uh, expansion or anything, specialized habitat. That's kind of cool. Um, so this was like I think I, I bought this off of Amazon. I think it was like twelve bucks. So uh, there is a look at the Traveler customizable card game, Aliens of the Imperium Expansion. If you would like to see some video on this, please do let me know in the comments. I thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time.